Every few years, a local mother receives a surreal piece of mail. It contains pictures of the three sons that she hasn't seen since 2010. If you're, from, if you're familiar with the missing skeleton boys, you know there have been few answers for their mother. Only computer-generated renderings like these aimed at keeping Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner in the public consciousness. Yesterday, a new set of age progression photos came out, and today our Sandra Ali met with their mother, who has to keep finding new ways to maintain a sense of hope. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, this is what Andrew Alexander and Tanner Skelton may look like now. We sat down with their mom today to get her reaction and exactly what she thought of when she first saw these images. And I opened them and I was like, whoa. That was Tanya Zuver's first reaction when she looked at these last week when they came in the mail. Do those look like complete strangers to you? Uh, to, yeah. Um, unless I really sit and think about it and I can pick out family resemblances, but not so much. I mean, I know you relive, relive this every single day, but it's, it's different when you're looking, I think, at their faces like yeah. that. How, how yeah. so? Um, because, when because you... right here, this is the reality. I saw them here. We're now over here. I've lost all of that. All of that is gone. Do you even see Andrew Alexander and Tanner when you look at those? Not really. This is them on a poster. This is them in a picture. But this is not them in, in real life. This is how you remember them? Yes. As your babies? Yeah. This time around, because they're so grown up now, and Tanner's not a baby, he's a young man, I decided to put this together to, okay, yeah, I see where that can happen. I, I, that, okay, I can do this. I can accept this. Never in 2010 did I think that you know, eight and a half years down the road that we would be sitting here doing this. Um, I really thought that that the resolution would have happened. All new posters and flyers will now be put up all around town using these brand new images. Obviously, the family as well as detectives and investigators hoping that this possibly generates some new tips, possibly some new leads. In Morency, Sandra Ali, Local 4. Yeah, and if you'd like to see these age progression photos or read the past stories we've done on the case, head to clickondetroit.com, type Skelton, S-K-E-L-T-O-N, into the search bar.